Hello YouTube, uh, this is a game called Plague Incorporated. Now, I have played this game quite a few times. I download it, play with it for a couple of months, and then I delete it. Um, and it's not that I don't like the game, that ain't why I delete it. I delete it usually just because I'm trying to save some space on my phone or whatever. But, honestly, this is a very fun game. I enjoy playing it. Hell, everybody in my family has played it and enjoy playing it. Um, and we usually download it once in a while just to see if they have anything new on here. Um, this one has the Simeon pack, which is... is that plan where you try to kill the world? Yes, the one where you kill the world. It has the Simeon pack where it's the Planet of the Apes virus. Oh, God. Which, that, that, one's, that one's hard. I've played that one before. But now it also has a vampire one, which is Shadow Plague expansion pack. That you could try out. Of course, you can do the upgrade and do the premium version to where you have all this stuff without having to do the free trials. But there is a little trick to it. If you play it and, you, like, say if you play the uh, Planet of the Apes or the Shadow Plague expansion pack. And say if you want to try it again. All you have to do is go into your cache and clear your cache of the game and go back into it. Mind you, you lose everything you've done on the game, but you get to play it again, so... It's not really hurting nothing, though, because it's not like something you really care about saving. But I'm going to give you a basic idea on how to play this. Uh, it says, Welcome to Plague Incorporated. Would you like to play a tutorial to teach you how to play the game? No, I don't need the tutorial. I've played this game enough to where I should know how to play it by now. Okay. You get to go here, and you get to select a plague type. Okay, the plague types you got the vac bacteria, virus, fungus, parasite... Prion, nanovirus, and bioweapon. Okay. These different things, each one has their own little things that they do that make it harder and harder. Okay, you got the most common, which, one, which is, of course, the bacteria. That is the most common thing. It's, you know, really easy to beat it with. Then, of course, you got the virus, which is the rapidly mutating pathogen. To cure it too. It's yep, and, yep, we'll get to all that in just a minute. Uh, let's see, we have the unlock button, which gives you, shows you what you can have. Uh, and as you can see, you get the virus, which unlocks the next standard plague type now for 99 cents. Seven plagues unlocked all standard plague types. And then the plague pipe, uh, plague pack, unlocks all the scenarios, all the standard plagues, and, and expansion packs. And it's only $15 if you want to play the full, full game and just keep it. It's really cool because if you say you do the Plague Pack and say you delete the game or something, it saves on your Google Play account, so it's not like you're going to lose your money. You can re-download the game at any point in time, and all you got to do is press the restore purchases. It does work. Uh, unfortunately, the one time that I did actually pay for it was on a different phone on a different google play account so i can't just press restore purchases but it's okay because i still really like the game um and this is the special plague types right here once you get the norax worm which that one's actually kind of hard uh nacrio virus isn't really that hard simium flu is hard as hell because you're basically trying to wipe out humanity and let the monkeys take over seems like that's Happened quite a bit lately and everything with the Planet of the Apes going on. Um, yeah, let's see. Monkeys do take over. <laughs> Shadow Plague. <laughs> Sentinent. It says, Sentinent mutagenic pathogen triggers a powerful thirst for blood. In other words, we will eat you. Alright, we're just going to go with bacteria. And I'm going to start with casual because this is, you know, me doing it for the first time in a while. Uh, let's see. What shall we na name this virus? We're going to call it Random Nation. You know, since that is my... Oh, I can't put Random Nation. How about we just call it Random? <laughs> Alright. Now, this is your modified genetic code. Once you get some things you can modify it with... You can select these things right here. You got the first one, which is ATBP boost. You get bonus DNA. I'll explain what the DNA and all that stuff is once we get into the actual game. This one gives you more DNA 
from popping the little red bubbles. Uh, metabolic hijack, orange and red bubbles are automatically pop for you, which I would really love to have that one. Because they didn't have that one on there before. Uh, getting more DNA from popping orange and DNA bubbles. And then, of course, this is catalytic switch. Get bonus DNA for popping blue cure bubbles. Okay. So, we're going to go right here to start. <coughs> <coughs> you have to excuse me. I don't really <coughs> feel the best. I don't know what's going on with me. I've been in a lot of pain lately. Uh, but hopefully I'll be doing fine. And the best part is, it is America, see? Or, I should say, it is the world. So now, here's the best part. You get to pick where you want to start at. Now, most people would think that the more populated places would be the best place to start at. But I've learned that you actually want to start at the hardest place to get. Which, in this scenario, is Greenland. So that's where we're going to start at. And yes, that's Greenland. If you remember from school, Greenland is the one covered in ice, and Iceland is the one covered in green. Don't make no damn sense, but that's just the way it is. Alright, so we're going to start. It's a clicker game, if you haven't figured it out. I have so many people posting stuff on YouTube right now. i got to go check out their videos in a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. Um, you basically sit back, you wait, you wait, you wait. They have their own little theme music. And you'll see this little news bulletin thing up here. It's actually kind of funny because sometimes you'll see... A uh, young kid diagnosed with super genius mode or something, you know, it, it, it they just come up with random stuff. It's funny. All right, let's see. Now, down here on the bottom left, you see where it says disease? If you click right there, it brings you to this page. Okay, and this tells you where it started and all that stuff. You've got daily infections of one person per day. Uh, transmission, it, this is where the first thing you need to worry about because this is how you get it to spread the fastest unfortunately I don't think I have anything that's ready to evolve yet but all right, then you got right here which is these symptoms and all that kind of stuff that'll cause it to kill the people can't do none of those yet either and this is your abilities tab okay when you go to the abilities you have cold resistant heat resistant uh, drug resistance, bacterial resistance, on um, symptoms, this is your main ones right here. I'm just going to quick click through to where you can see what they are. Uh, then, of course, you got the transmission again, which is, you got the birds, which is any kind of flying things, rodents, insects, livestock, blood, air, water. I mean, it's really, really, they put a lot of thought into how they're going to make this thing actually work. And see this little orange thing that popped up right here? Sorry. If you click that, you get points for it. My old lady driving me crazy. She's interrupting me in the middle of me trying to destroy the world. Hey, I have to do YouTube when I can. All right, so you're gonna, I'm going to collect as many as I can here. All right, I got some. So let's see if we can make it to where it transmits a little easier. All right, since we're in Iceland, we're going to start off with air. Now it should actually go a little faster. If this thing will get off my damn screen, I'll actually be able to see if there's anything underneath it. All right, there we go. I'm hearing this like bouncing off the wall over here, apparently. Oh, that's... I, I keep wanting to check my thing and I'm not realizing it's 59 people are already infected. Yeah, we got 84 people infected. And eventually, this is going to be a little bit longer video apparently because it does take a minute. Once this thing fills up, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because in a second I'm going to evolve water that way any drinking water they have 
will help it evolve a little or help it transmit a little faster um i'm sorry this is a longer video it kind of has to be i really enjoy this game like i said um i love the little boats they get little boats and they get the planes and see look where it's got little anchors and the airports and stuff they'll shut those down eventually when they start realizing that you're infecting the world so it makes it even harder to keep infecting everything I mean, this game is addicting. You sit here and watch it, and it just seems like it'd be so stupid to play, but then when you actually play it, because even my wife, when she first seen me playing it, she was like, that looks stupid. Well, then she played it, and she, there for almost a month. Still said it was stupid. She still said it was stupid, but there for almost a month, she kept playing it, like, every day, trying to figure out how to kill everybody. I did it. She, she did it. She did it. She beat, she beat it. I finally beat the monkeys. It took me a while. Because what I like doing is killing all the humans, and if you have it in the right mode, you can kill all the humans, and then you have to kill all the apes. So, it was hard. Transmission. Let's see if we can evolve a bird. That way, uh, hopefully it'll... Oh, look, see the little red boat going across? I'm about to infect another part of the world. Russia has just been infected. And anybody that lives in Greenland, I'm not trying to offend you. That's just the best spot to start the virus off on just about all the scenarios. Because it's the hardest place to infect. So, don't be getting mad at me. It's just the game. Let's see. Yeah, let's evolve cold resistance that way it can spread a little faster. Yeah, you drop it in America first and it don't take long before they realize something's going on. Ooh, they found fecal contamination in pools. Little shits are taking shits in the pool. Alright. But yeah, like I said, it's a really fun game. I enjoy it. I, I could sit here and play this thing all night and not even realize that I'm playing it half the time. <coughs> I highly recommend at least downloading it and trying it. I mean, even if it doesn't end up being one of your preferred uh, games, I guarantee you'll have fun just trying to figure out how to kill everybody. I know I do. Random is infecting more countries. Let's see if we can make it spread a little faster. What's this? Livestock? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's about to start spreading pretty quick. And over here, underneath the clock, it does have the speed up thing. Unfortunately, you do have to upgrade to get that. But if you have a jailbroken phone, you can actually, uh, you can use cheats on this. You can use, uh, Game Killer and Game Guardian on this. Uh, or at least you could. I don't know if you can now, honestly, but I'm pretty sure you still can. And you can speed it up with your Game Guardian. So, you don't really have to have, you don't really have to pay for it if you don't want to. I'm not endorsing cheating, but, you know, if you just want to make it a little clearer for you, go for it. I think I want to infect insects, because insects spread really fast. And it is a slow game to start off with, but by God, once it gets moving, it's everywhere. I mean, I'm talking, it spreads everywhere especially once it hits America <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> I'm only at 15 minutes uh, all right I'm gonna wrap this up because the fact if I keep playing it's going to take forever um, but this is Random Nation. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave comments down in the bottom. I will show you any 
uh, games that you tell me. I will check them out. I'll download them. I'll put videos on here. Um, I didn't do a vlog today. I was supposed to, but I didn't. Uh, well, actually, I did, but I don't even know if I put one on there. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, never mind. It was yesterday I didn't put one on there. But all the same. This is Random Nation. Bama Girl Amy is over here playing her little... I think she's watching YouTube herself. Uh, but I guess have a random day and talk to you later.